Hey there, Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to your reading for December 27th, 2023. <clears throat> Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you guys are well and safe today. Just keep in mind, Aries, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, so this message may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that do resonate for yourself and leave the rest for someone else. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform. Whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you. Okay? Okay. Let's jump right in here. Thank you all so much for the new likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. It really does help out the channel. Thank you for the people that have reached out to me for personal readings and the super thanks. Um, the personal readings are still half off from now until New Year's, okay? So take advantage of that while you can. Thank you so much for the people that have followed me on TikTok, okay? I really appreciate it. That's in the description box below as well. I am still trying to push the TikTok account, so thank you guys so much. It really means a lot, okay? Um, we are going to jump right in here. I haven't been feeling very well today. That's why I am just now getting to the point where I am uploading or getting to the point of taking the video to upload it. It's already like, I don't know, 7 something in the p.m. where I am, so oh, give me a second to ground myself. Okay, there we go. I haven't went on my walk today yet, so I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. That happens sometimes, so. I am still gonna go on my walk, take Kinsey for a walk and all that, so. I'm just having, um, it's been a really weird day. It's that weird in-between time, you know, in-between Christmas and New Year's where it's just like, what do I do? <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird time right now, so. Let's jump right in here, Aries, and see what we can see for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I am going to, I've debated and um, on some point in the new year or starting new years, I'm going to start doing live readings. Um, I'm thinking two or three days a week, possibly. I don't know yet. I know I'm going to do at least one day a week, but uh, we're going to, I know that I'm going to do it at least once a week. I just don't know what days yet. So I just wanted to do, Ah, just wanted to announce that to you guys now, okay, so that way you know, but um, yeah, after doing a couple of live readings this past year, I think it would be, uh, I think it would be a good idea to connect with you guys a little bit better, so, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please, one, two, three, four, okay, let me get one more, four, one, two, three, four, okay, Boom. All right, so in the past, we have the Six of Wands in the upright. In the present, we have the Hangman reversed. And in the future, we have the High Priestess reversed, okay? So Six of Wands, this usually indicates um, getting recognized for some kind of work that you do or getting recognized at the workplace, okay? Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, I use a book by Dusty White called The Easiest Way to Learn the Tarot Ever. I use this as a quick reference guide, even though I know what this these cards mean. I just want to throw that out there. Give me one second, okay? Okay, so that way you guys know. All right, Six of Wands. So I'll read it for you, so that way we... Can you see parades, accolades, victories, and celebrations of victories. If this card is an outcome, expect good things, and then expect a public spectacle of the victory. Possible raise, promotion, awards won, public affection, and even perhaps a little boasting are bound to happen very soon. Occasionally, this card also represents a leader rallying his or her troops, organizing for a major cause. If that is the case, the surrounding cards will support that notion quite clearly, okay? Clarify the Six of Wands for Aries in the past. What is the Six of Wands pertaining to? One, two, three, four. Give it one more, four, one, two, three, four, okay. So, Five of Wands in the Reversal, King of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. I'm not clarifying the Six of Wands. So five of wands reversed, it seems, it seems like somebody is seeing you kind of stand in your power in some kind of way with this king of swords here, um, mentally knowing what you want to do, like making it, 
some kind of decisive or having some kind of decisive action here a strong leader or an authority figure such as a police officer lawyer judge businessman military officer corporate executive or perhaps a stern father alternatively a highly intelligent professional such as a doctor professor scientist or writer personality usually runs on the conservative side judicious aggressive ambitious reserved distrusting of unproven ideas or people okay so i feel like you might you may even have someone coming back from the past or i don't know i mean this is representing the past so someone in your energy in the past like decided they want to stop trying to fight with you or argue with you about whatever this is that you're doing and getting recognized for because um maybe i think that they see that it's working okay especially with the six of pentacles you're helping people in some kind of way okay six of pentacles represents like helping people all right what it usually represents um especially with the cards with self like specifically by itself it represents um helping people who are less fortunate than you but this is just kind of helping people in some kind of way okay you're deciding to help people you're getting recognized for it and someone or something in your energy doesn't want to like argue or fight with you anymore because of this okay they want to come back and like try to I, I say come back i don't know it's just showing someone in your energy that is recognizing you for what you want to do and they don't want to fight with you anymore so clarify this past situation for aries please one two three four i'm going to use the other deck to clarify okay clarify this past situation for aries please let me get one more four one two three four okay so we have the chariot reversed the judgment and the star reversed wow three major arcanas okay <laughs> so oh wow okay unsuccessful defeat loss at the last minute negativity confusion Awakening, purpose, reckoning, self-assessment, atonement, rejuvenation, and then unfulfilled hopes, disappointment, pessimism, doubt, despair. I don't know. Somebody's got some kind of strange energy here. Okay, so who is this person? <laughs> what is this about? So the judgment also indicates like um, an end to something, but not necessarily the beginning of something else. So this looks like it, look, it is looking to me with the judgment being in the upright and the chariot and the star being reversed that you ended or, or got out of some kind of cycle of like pessimism, you or someone else in your energy, okay? Some kind of like um, thinking or worrying about what everything that could go wrong, okay? I think you just like got, because the judgment... Uh, especially the judgment in reverse represents being in a cycle and the upright it represents getting out of a cycle that is like this so i'll get one more card to clarify to see if that what is that is that what it is is that what it is dude <laughs> all right let me get let me get one more card one two three four okay page of wands and the nine of cups reversed okay selfishness greed materialism mistakes imperfections Okay, now I think this is you kind of looking at uh, life in a new, different way. Possibly some of you got kids out here, okay? But I feel like you um, really had to be a little bit of uh, in like a selfish energy. I, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you need to do what you need to do for yourself in order to move forward. This is like perceived as a bad thing. But when we're clarifying these other cards, this is you being like, okay, I'm going to stop giving from an empty cup. I'm going to be here for myself. I'm going to do what I need to do for myself. Okay, you're looking at the world in, in a new way. Keep your eye on your goals and enjoy every moment, see? Okay, so, and you're like, okay, I'm going to have faith that this is going to work out. Looks like you, like, what, stepped out on a limb here, and you're like, let's do this. So, <laughs> that's what happened here, and you uh, did uh, maybe have to go into a little bit of a selfish type of energy in order to get to where you need to be, but that is okay sometimes. Sometimes that's what we got to do, you know what I'm saying? So don't beat yourself up about that or anything or feel bad about it. I would not. Okay. In the present, we have the hangman and the reversal. So hangman in the upright represents like getting a new perspective on something and the reversal indicates like not being worried about something, or at least that's what it states in the book here, like not um, letting anything um get to you so to speak okay it says ah the joys of life of being young and alive and free without a care in the world <laughs> all right <laughs> this shows abandonment of responsibility study effort or bothering to care so, so what is this hangman energy about what is going on with aries in the present with the hangman energy let me get one more four one two three four okay Three of Swords Reverse, Healing, the Hierophant, Doing Things Traditionally, and the Star, Divine Intervention. Okay, so you are definitely healing from something here, um, from something in the past. I feel like you are um, 
you had to have gone through something even what whether it be like physically or like uh emotionally or mentally here you had to go through something in order to get to the three of swords reverse which does represent him healing i will uh read this one for you so that way you know okay swift healthy recovery after surgery rectifications of injuries sustained emotional healing after brutal heart heartache restitutions offered under command of authority figures okay and then we have the Hierophant and the Star, okay? So I feel like this is you, like, finding some kind of new way to do things that probably aren't necessarily traditional for at least some of you out here, okay? And um, the reason that I say that is because it looks like you're the Hangman reversed energy and then clarified by the Hierophant. This is, like, something traditional. So I feel like you are no longer worried about which way is traditional here. I feel like you see some kind of um, energy about how traditionally things are they only work to a point you know um you know people would say if, if it's not broke don't fix it but if you look at the system and where we're living for most of us out here especially especially if you're in the united states then you understand that uh we're, we're gonna have to do things something differently okay so <laughs> some gotta give because the uh, american dollar is um going down in value by two percent every single year so and then the star uh, in the upright, this re represents divine intervention coming in and coming in in order to help you with whatever this is. So let's use the, use the other deck to clarify here really quick. What is this pertaining to for Aries? Aries. That makes me think of Kratos. Destroy my enemies and my life is yours. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, my younger brother. Uh, he used to play God of War all the time, so. Alright, clarify this present situation for Ares, please. Let me get one. What is this about? What is this? Alright. King of Wands and the Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, okay, so it seems like <clears throat> some other people may be, like, coming up against you. Um, not happy with the decisions that you're making, but, I mean, you are standing in your power and doing something that you think is right. Something that you think is, uh smart okay i feel like they're probably not seeing your perspective on whatever it is and then the last one four of pentacles reversed okay four of pentacles reversed i think they're seeing you as a greedy person okay it says greed materialism lack of originality possessiveness and obstacles okay so that's why they're coming up against you all right you're standing in your power but you have people coming up against you because they're seeing you as greedy okay that's not the point okay that's not the thing aries i think that you understand that okay <laughs> everybody's like it's not all about money and that is correct it's not all about money it's about time okay we only have so much time so if we're spending even if you're spending six six hours a day for some of you some people maybe even work four hour shifts if you're spending four hours a day making another company money so that you can make money that's four hours of your time that you're never going to get back making someone else money. So you have to think of a new way to do this here. Okay. So I feel like that is the uh, obstacle. That's the point. Okay. High priestess reverse in the future. Okay. I feel like um, this usually represents some kind of depression or um, something not being seen here. Confusion, alcoholism, drug abuse or overdose, paranoia and superstition, disillusion. Okay. Spiritual weakness, clouded judgment false spirituality, psychosis, fantasism, and extremism, not doing one's research or homework, abduction, buried treasures, and bad pomegranates. So don't freak out. We're going to clarify what it is, okay? So clarify this high priestess reverse. This could also like just representing like not being able to see something clearly, okay? Whether it be you or someone else, okay? So clarify high priestess reverse for Aries in the future, okay? Let me get one more four, one, two, three, four, okay? Let me get one more four, one, two, three, four, okay? The Emperor reversed, or no, Emperor in the Upright, Five of Swords reversed, and the Eight of Swords, okay? Alright, what you're not seeing here, or what you're not like, um... This is weird, because it's not a clear storyline. The Emperor, especially for an Aries, st standing in your power, okay? Five of Swords reversed is an end to... Uh, oppression and subjugation which is people trying to control you it's like and then the eight of swords feeling stuck <laughs> so it's like um that doesn't that's not a clear storyline um what is it the what is this about clarify this future situation for aries what are they feeling stuck about 
it's like you're standing in your power you have you no longer have people trying to control you but you still feel stuck in some kind of way maybe it's what you're not seeing is that you're not stuck okay i feel like that's what the high priestess reverse i feel like you still feel like you're stuck in some kind of way but you're not okay what is this ten of cups reversed maybe it's because of a family situation or love situation that didn't work out what is this page of swords reverse cunning careless defensive incompetent ideas without action gossip what in the world one two three four let me get two, let me get two more cards to clarify this future situation one two three four let me get one more four one two three four okay ace of wands and the nine of swords reversed okay something like maybe is not going to work out for you in the future here Aries or maybe um hasn't but okay here's the thing you're standing in your power you're no longer um what is it um being controlled in some kind of way freedom from oppression and subjugation you're no longer having someone trying to co control you let me make sure that's five of swords let me make sure that's what that is okay but um the good news is if something doesn't work out, yeah, an end to subjugation, freedom from oppression. Whenever something doesn't work out, you get unstuck, okay, patience, unselfishness, unselfishness, timidity, control, decisions made, finding help, okay, and then you have some kind of new beginning. <clears throat> Will to create, energy, inspiration, creation, force, strength, and gain, okay, so you have some kind of new beginning after something may, may not work out for you, okay. New beginnings, enterprises, calculated risks, or taking renewed action after a period of rest. It is the energy similar to the sun in Aries, and it's inspirational and highly motivational. Uh, it signifies opportunities that you have to jump at and actions that require physical effort. All in all, it's a very positive card, but it can be combative due to a synthetic and forceful energy. Okay, so it's looking here like, um, I don't know, you, you're seeing something is not working out or something that doesn't work out, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone like this page of swords reversed okay it means something different in the book but it's kind of someone that's just trying to like make you look bad or do anything they can to make you i don't know something like that self-righteousness or demeaning manner poor communications ill-chosen words leading to arguments impatience demotion evisceration irrationality brat okay but this situation is what's making you feel stuck okay but the the fact of the matter is you're standing in your power and you have no one has any control over you, which is good. OK, so I feel like once you realize that whatever this situation is, that you're not being controlled, you, you feel a lot less stuck with the nine of swords reverse. OK, this is literally just representational of feeling unstuck. OK, emotional release, letting go of old pain and moving on a release of tension that you can physically feel. You have endured great stresses and now the causes of those are being lifted. It's time to forget the past and create new, better memories. OK. And then you have a new beginning so it's looking very good uh, i feel like there's just something here that you need to let go of as far as emotionally or mentally okay maybe you need to let go of a mindset that since something didn't work out in the past and it's not going to work now okay or let go of a mindset that you were feeling um or that you were being controlled um or not standing in your power you need to let go of something here because it looks like with this eight of swords okay that trapped in a situation, incarceration, feeling emotionally closed off, being held hostage by unseen forces. So you're feeling like trapped in some kind of way. Uh, you just need to let, like, let go of something in the past so that you stop feeling that way and realize that you have all the freedom in the world, okay? So let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of this situation. Big Bubba Mac, spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today, please. Virgo, you may be dealing with a Virgo, or you might have Virgo somewhere in your chart, or something about a Virgo is significant here, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. We have guitar, <laughs> okay? Maybe uh, some of you play guitar, or you're a guitarist, or maybe you get a guitar for Christmas, something like this is significant. Maybe you know a Virgo that plays guitar. <laughs> what else? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, okay? <laughs> Maybe some of you doing this a lot or someone's doing this to you or you're doing this to someone. I don't know. Maybe you think about a guitar player when you do that. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't know. Uh, anyways, one, two, three, four. Cleanse your space. You need to cleanse your space at this time, okay? You might have like some dark energy around you. 
So cleanse your space in order to get the dark energy away. What else? One, two, three, four. We have third eye chakra, okay? And then moon cycle, okay? Like I said, I feel like you intuitively you see something or you know something here. I feel like you're feeling stuck in some kind of way, but I don't feel like you are stuck, okay? I feel like it's just a feeling you have. One, two, three, four. We have orchid, okay? Love, beauty, refinement, many children, thoughtfulness and mature charm, grace, gentleness, innocence, playfulness, joy, happiness, and fertility, all right? Orchid, or maybe you have an orchid plant for some of you, okay? What else? One, two, three, four. We have musician. You could be a musician, possibly. We have guitar and musician, so I feel like someone out here is a musician or something of the sort, okay? My nose starts itching like crazy now. Um, you could be someone who writes music as well. Listen, Big Bubba Mac. Listen to what I'm about to say. These next couple of cards, next three cards are going to be significant for you. I'm going to pull three cards from the back. Computer. You could be watching this from a computer. You could um, have a computer or got a computer for Christmas or something about computer is significant here. My nose is itching like crazy, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. DJ, you could be, I don't know, it could be someone watching this with the initials D or J, or you could be a DJ. We have musician, guitar, and DJ. Maybe there's like a, a band watching this or something, okay? And future, okay? Something about your future is significant here. You might be looking forward to something in the future. Maybe you like listening to future, okay? Let me get three more. One, two, three, four. We have libido, okay? We have libido and that other word here. So somebody looking good, smelling good, doing things good, doing what you need to do, okay, for yourself. One, two, three, four. We have Pisces. You could be a Pisces watching this. If you're a cross watcher, Pisces somewhere in your chart or something about a Pisces is significant here, okay? Let me get one more. One, two, three, four. Cell phone, okay? Something about someone's cell phone is significant here, all right? You could be watching this through a cell phone. Maybe you just got a new cell phone for Christmas or something about cell phone is significant here, okay? Let's get a message from the Ancestor Oracle card, all right? If you're liking what I'm saying so far, if this is resonating with you, hit that like button at the bottom, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment in the comment section. I do read all my comments, okay? Jesus, that was not a good shuffle. Let's try that again. Jesus! There we go. Someone is very adventurous and likes to go exploring okay it could be seen as a rebel but you're actually just a free spirit it could be a singer or someone that uses their voice out here mm -hmm. jesus okay definitely have singer and voice one two three four earth and life giver you could be a mother if you're watching this or a father possibly I'm getting more of a mother here but it could be an earth sign as well what else one two three four Explore and adventure again. Let me get one more four and that'll be the card for today. One, two, three, four. Or musician and sound. <clears throat> Someone that's a musician, but this is the card they want you to see for today. Gardener and cultivation, okay? You cultivating, baby. All right, <clears throat> first I'll read what the card means and then I will read what your ancestors are trying to say to you today through me drawing this card. <clears throat> Excuse me. In prehistoric times, humans grew their gardens and forests, intermingling medicinal and food plants with the various flora that existed naturally. Through various epochs in history, gardening has not only been used to supply food and medicine, but also for decorative and aesthetic purposes. The gardener is one who prepares the soil as needed to provide the best possible circumstances for plants to grow. They tend the soil with love and care, nurturing the growth of the young plants by providing any other nutrients as necessary. These gardens can supply gifts of food for the gardener and their family as an exchange for the love and care of the gardener. Decorative gardens with flowers and trees provide visual and sensory, and sensory pleasure, inspiring awe for the elegant and aesthetic collaboration with the wild and natural beauty of Mother Earth. Hands-on gardening... <clears throat> encourages appreciation for how the elements work synergistically to support the growth of food for all living beings. The increasing interest in and application of organic gardening assures us that with this love and care, we can reduce and potentially eliminate the toxic applications of insecticides and pesticides that predominated gardening and agricultural practices up until a few years ago. That is what the card means. This is what your ancestors would like you to hear today through me drawing this card. 
They are saying, <clears throat> in addition to nurturing the growth of plants and trees, what else are you cultivating in your life? Are you sowing seeds of love and care, nurturing these with your blessings and intention? Are you paying attention to how you affect others? Do you support their growth emotionally, mentally, and spiritually? What about yourself? Are you tending to your own personal garden, allowing it to flourish in ways that support your spiritual growth and awareness? It's time to examine, examine ways you ignore or inhibit your spiritual growth and take measures that will cultivate your soul's path. Grow a plant from seed and observe how you feel when you pay consistent attention to this living being's needs. Sing to her, water her, send your prayers, and watch what happens, okay? All right, Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading today. I hope this message resonated with someone. Thank you all so much for the new likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. It really does help out the channel. You guys are amazing, okay? So, again, just to remind you guys, the readings are still half off from now until New Year's, so take advantage of it while you can. I think we got like four or five days left. So, love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward, and as always, love yourself first.